Um, uh, KBC Bank is a um, is a well known family. Um, you know, is a well known brand in the Belgian market, uh, but also has a, a couple of um, banks um, in in the European region. Um, and um, like we've been working with them on some some of the the developer experience work that they've been putting together. Uh, and and they as I mentioned earlier. Um, they've surprised us with some really innovative ways of thinking about uh, developer experience uh, and like in going beyond software developer experience and thinking about uh, business developers. And I think this is what um, Katrin is going to be talking about uh, today. Uh, let's see if it's working out. Um, so can you can you share your camera, Katrin? Let's see. Here we go. Perfect. Awesome. Hoi, Katrien. <laughs> Very happy to have you here today. Uh, and Thank you. Yeah, and to, to uh, give you a chance to tell your story firsthand. Um, I think, um, as, as I told, it's been inspiring um, for, for me and, and I've, I've learned a lot from it. Um, so I, I'm yeah ex really excited to see uh, how, how you're going to present it today. And uh, I'd love to hear also the feedback from the audience um, with, with some questions uh, about it. With that said, uh, I'm going to hide uh, from the stage and pass it on to you. Yeah, well, I will uh, start by, of course, sharing my screen if everything goes well. Yeah. I'll keep the, um, the audio on until we got it on. Yes. It's coming. It always takes a little while. Um, still waiting. Yeah, here we go. Here we um, go. Can you can you click on Verbergen on the bottom? Yeah, Done. perfect. Thank you. So, Floor is yours. Thank you. We're up and running. So uh, hi, everybody. As uh, Christophe already said, I will be indeed talking a little bit about uh, catering to the hoodies and the suits so that uh, there are other than technical developers in uh, in the world, bin meaning business developers. First of all, a very quick um, tour, a very quick passport of KBC. As mentioned, uh, we are a, a mid-cap um, financial group in Europe, for, uh, six core countries that we are present in. And uh, the baseline of our, uh, our CEO, Johan Thijs, is that we want to be the reference in bank and insurance in all our core markets. Um, but if you really want to, to know who we are, how we work, and then uh, we, uh, we like to look beyond what we do, and then we look at what people say about us. So we are a very trusted brand. We have a lot of um, uh, awards there, of which we're very proud. Um, but we're also already working a long time on digitizing our financial experience. And on, in order to be that, we have to be also a leader in innovation because uh, digitization innovation go hand in hand. And today it goes beyond bank and insurance. It's way more than just offering banking products, offering insurance products in your own branch or in your own um, mobile app. It's, uh, it goes beyond that. So we really are uh, now building a lot of partnerships, partnership building where also our developer portal comes into place. But before going into that, I just want to make the link with the strategy that we have, uh, the strategy of, uh, of KBC Belgium uh, regarding open and beyond banking, which is a, a hot topic in financial industries. Um, it's uh, We call it our 3B strategy, which has to do um, mainly with uh, extending um, services in our own channels. So making sure that you can get other services, services from third parties into our own KBC mobile app, uh, which is the Be All In One app. Um, for example, you can buy a ticket for the train there or for the bus. You can buy, book a table. You can uh, follow up the Premier League of Belgium, so uh, the, the Jupiler Pro League um, with the goals and, and everything around. So really an all-in-one experience. But we also do the inverse. So we say we want to be everywhere, which, has, uh, which means that we want to not be everywhere, but be really where our client is. So uh, um, making sure that we can offer our products, our services, into the channels of uh, of others and um, that's really all in order to 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 win the battle for the client to really make sure that we can serve that client in the best way possible um, and in order to do that we also need processes product services that are personal and that are instant that we can offer instantly so really a personalized 
a quote, for example, for a consumer finance loan, instantly meaning in seconds, not in minutes, not in days. We talk then seconds for those things. And uh, but of course, especially if you want to be everywhere with those products, with those services, it's uh, necessary to make sure that you can integrate in the, in the channel of your third party, of course. And there we have a number of integration techniques. Um, one of them, of course, being APIs. It's, it's, uh, it's definitely towards the future. It is the, um, it's the reference, it's the, the, the basics, basically, to stage it like that in order to say, okay, if you want to integrate my service, here is an API which, which, with which you can do that. But we also offer other integration methods. For example, a widget or a, uh, a QR code, which you can then scan and then you go to a KVC process. Uh, we're also developing what we call, or we recently launched actually, what we call the partner hub, where we actually um, consume our own APIs and put it in the front end for a merchant to use. Why do we do that? There are two main reasons for this. One is that uh, not every merchant is that tech savvy or has their developers in-house to really integrate an API end-to-end -end, um, and uh, to do that immediately. And secondly, it's also uh, some partners first want to try things out. They want to see, you know, is it, can I, do I integrate in the immediate in the API? Then I have to do a lot of development, ask do my development par, um, department or uh, a freelancer led, uh, that, uh, that both can be the case, of course. But um, business-wise, they want to see, you know, um, we say, okay, if you offer our product, our service instantly to the client, for example, if they want to buy a house and you can immediately say, okay, and here is the, the mortgage uh, loan offer as well, that will it will give traction to your client and it will give your client a better experience. They first want to try that out. And then it's good to have less invasive um, integration methods as well. But of course, it all starts with a digitized process that goes without, uh, without saying. So we have these integration methods, but then of course you need a digital distribution channel for that. And then, ta-da, of course, enter our developer portal where we offer those multiple integration techniques, but where we, uh, so where we really open up the vault, our, our KBC vault, our products, our services towards third parties. Um, that is one, and we have uh, the, the multiple integration techniques, which is one thing that kind of sets us apart if you look at, uh, at other developer portals. But also um, it's, uh, an, uh, an uh, portal that caters to a, a double audience, we tend to say. So we cater both to business uh, developers as to technical developers. So there is, um, for both those, the, those audiences, there is information, there is content on our developer portal. Uh, for, um, so that's something that we believe is very important. It's a, it's a very deliberate choice um, because you have, on one hand, of course, you have to make sure that you provide everything that a technical developer needs. Um, but at the end of the day, it's the business that takes the decision. It's the, the CEO, it's the business development manager, it's whomever on a business side that takes the decision to yes or no integrate a service from KVC. So from that perspective, both are, for, uh, for we think, equally important. We know that we are a little bit different there from uh, from others, so uh, it's uh, it's it's our belief. And I um, said uh, you can uh, for the for the technical uh, developers, we offer here multiple integration techniques as well. But I think most importantly, especially towards techies, it's uh, the API um, documentation that we offer. We have, of course, an, an easy uh, tryout. There will be sample code uh, soon soon yes uh we have a, a sandbox where uh, everything in order to be able to technically integrate our offering is there on our um on our api on our uh, developer portal so really what we call catering to to the hoodies we also try to provide their also inspiring contents for example uh, um stories from um, from others how they develop how uh, what they uh, ran into when um when integrating an API and so on. But those user stories are also uh, definitely uh, very present in uh, when we cater to what we call the suits. So making sure that we give a relevant content, but that we tell especially user stories of other businesses. How did it go? What did um, the integration of, uh, for example, um, here of uh, Xerius, which is a, an, um, and social secretary, you have to go there when you uh, start up a company and you have to uh, make sure that you get a company number there. And then you typically have to go to a bank to get a bank account. And then you go back because they need your bank account before they can complete the registration. 
So what we said there, okay, we integrated opening up a, a business account into the system of, of, of Xerius. And there it makes it very tangible for um, business developers, for CEOs, what a service of uh, KBC, what a financial service could mean in the um, customer journey of their customer. The same goes, for example, for solar panels. If you want to uh, order solar panels and you can immediately get the financing there, or if you um, want to buy a house and you get immediately, you can also have a, a loan simulation if you're looking uh, online for, uh, for a house. Those things can really boost your business and we want to make sure that the business people, the suits on our developer portal understand this very well. We have, apart from our developer portal, we even have a partnerships page, what we call, which is kind of like a wrapping around the developer portal, which is purely focused. It's even, it's, it's not even in Dutch, but it is in Dutch. Um, and it's really purely focused on those business developers for them to understand also what are APIs, integration techniques? What is this? And data, okay, everybody talks about data, but what could that mean for me? So relevant content there, user stories, videos, blogs on um, what APIs and, and everything that comes with APIs could bring for their business. Um, of course, it goes without saying that if you have these uh, integration methods, you cater both to businesses and to, uh, to suits and to hoodies, you also have to make sure that the IT services surrounding your API also cater, cater both so that you have a good, um, and, uh, a good uh, customer facing application that you make sure that uh, everybody knows when your uh, API is going to be done or when there are uh, maintenance works and so on, but also towards the boardroom and towards the suit towards those suits that you can make sure that they get feedback um, from uh, what is going on. For example, say that you've integrated uh, the API for a consumer finance loan into your channel um, of, uh, of the solar panels, for example, then you want to know as a, as a suit or in the boardroom, you want to know, you know, how many um, of these consumer finance loans have my clients requested? How many have been accepted? How many have been already um, have been already paid because we pay uh, in those things. We uh, we don't pay the final client. We pay the merchant there. So to in order to be able to follow these things up, so IT services surrounding all um, all the APIs, all the integration methods, also have to, we also have to make sure that there as well we service both our hoodies as our suits. Um, so that's kind of how we look at this, and um, it's. Um, I'm really wondering because I deliberately wanted to make sure that there is also time for some uh, some interaction and some uh, some questions. Um, this is our take at it. We believe we have to cater to both audiences. We also see that it is it's not that easy and that we sometimes have to make choices. Should we cater more to tech uh, uh, audience? Do, does a tech audience really want to have more content also on on experiences of other developers, or do they get that at other uh, communities where they are already present? Is that something there? Or do we should we invest maybe even more content for suits, more for businesses in order to support also tech developers to say, okay, to have those discussions with the suits in order to make sure that the integration goes uh, smoothly. So that's really uh, the question towards you. If you're facing the same struggle, if you think, you know, that is something that I would like to discuss about with uh, a Belgian uh, financial institution or uh, just with me, then, then let's have a virtual coffee. And that's actually, in a nutshell, kind of our uh, story, Christoph. I don't know if there are any questions. So I, um, like, I, I've always been, I, I don't think I've asked you this already, but um, how did you come up with this idea? Because this is different. Like you're doing things um, different than most um most API teams that I've seen in the market, and um, and I think oh, and and I think you're onto something um, uh, because like well, we see a lot of teams that just focus way too much on on just technology mm -hmm. and forget about uh, the stories and the journeys and like the actual mm -hmm. goal, uh, you know, getting yeah. getting more integrations. So mm -hmm. so where how did this come up? Like where does it come from? Well, it really is a consequence of our strategy. Yeah. Uh, so it's the the the, um, the API portal, the developer portal, did not just come out of uh, out of nowhere, of course. And we said, okay, if we want to be everywhere, we have to make sure that we um, offer our services um, on a digital uh, distribution channel, so that it's 
it's because of that strategy that we offer that we do it like this yeah. it's there are, there are other consequences as well eh? because uh, we have um and it's we also have a a physical to say it like that um yeah. sales department so they really address um merchants they go out they hunt um for uh for possible partners that that are interested but they typically address suits we are also starting to address more and more um, uh, software integration methods, but also there you talk um, at software companies. I'm sorry, but there also you typically talk first to the suits if you come in as a as a as a bank. So it's really there a consequence of okay, we want to make sure that we offer our products into the channels of others. So we have to make sure that they are there and that we talk to both audiences. It also has some pitfalls. Eh? Mm -hmm. Because yeah. I'm very happy that you think we're onto something, but <laughs> for example, um, we have um, all full products now on our developer portal. So you yeah. have a consumer finance, an end-to-end -end consumer finance. You have a uh, rental guarantee, which are typical all products, and of course everything that has to do with PSD two. Um, but uh, you also could make smaller Lego blocks really out of the services of mm -hmm. of a uh, financial institution. Um, there are uh, a number of uh, competitors that you can, for example, offer an age check. As a bank, you typically know is someone over than 18 if they want to go to an online casino, so to say. Then um, those things are because of our, our focus really on catering to both audiences and making sure that it's in line with our strategy. Those are things we do not yet offer. And that is that's then the downside because you have to choose, of course, you can only uh, spend every euro once. Yeah, yeah. And it's interesting that you're immediately talking about um, having discussions with sales about this, um, and that and that um, uh, it's those conversations are also driving what you're doing. And I and, and I've I've seen or I've, I've had discussions about this that um, I've heard this before that it, developer portals and having a good onboarding journey um, and good documentation about your APIs can be really important sales assets. Um, because they, they, they show that you, you know, you're the best partner to integrate with because, you mm -hmm. know, the journey is going to be easier. Um, how, how hard was it to get them on board with, with this API, API strategy? Or was there, did, did the request come from them or this was kind of flowing out of, um, you know, what was happening, uh, in, inside of the business? Um, it's kind of like uh, a going back and forth. I think uh, one of or a couple of uh, the our, our sales people in our, our department, it's a small sales department. Right? It's not another our people in the branches, so it's only like five to six people. Um, it kind of at a certain moment, if it it came out that they needed that to a certain extent, or they <laughs> voiced an, 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 a need to have a um, a dis digital distribution channel um, under. Uh, supporting everything that they offered for um, for uh, towards um, towards uh, merchants, so it's it's from that perspective it, it flew out naturally. On the other hand, uh, there are there is always some 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 tension there, a good tension, I believe, um, that uh, you have. Um, it's it's IT services. Huh? It's um, that is what you expect from it, especially as a salesperson. It's that it works. So as of the moment that a salesperson, they believe I, I've done my job, I've onboarded them, I've yeah. I've done the, the contract is there and so on. And now, hopake, it has to go now. Then it's only starting from from a certain point of view, from the tech side. There is typically an overlap. Eh? You're going to start uh, the onboarding, you're playing in the sandbox. So, so a number of things there start flowing already. But the, the major part in the beginning is with the salespeople, the major part at the second part is with the technical people. So then technical people start to talk to each other and then it's why is it still not working or what is the problem or little children's diseases that are that are in there and so on. So it's um, and then the people, <laughs> technical people are like, yeah, but you, you, you took ages to get your contract. Why why is there such a hurry now? So it's um, it's kind of like a healthy uh, tension there, but uh, they do believe that um they are definitely on board for uh making sure that we have that we uh can uh, use and develop our developer portal for it on yeah um I, I was part of one of your focus groups and uh that was 
I learned stuff there that I had no idea about, which was fascinating. Uh, like one of the the key things I took away was uh, that integrators, are, like the people that might be doing uh, software as a service for the people that you actually want to work with, that they're like an audience, which is really, really fascinating. Do, do you have any other insights that you want to share, like in, in that trend that came out of that? Uh, yeah, huh. there are, um, indeed, it's, it's, you're referring to what we call our expert board. Eh? So yes. where we have indeed, uh, we have there some, uh, some business people and more some technical people on board, uh, as in order to talk jointly about mainly our developer portal, but in order, to, in order to really take it to the next level and see if what we offer is indeed matching, uh, matching the expectations. And indeed, one of the things that came out of there is that you have you have your your business people, then you have your technical developers, which are sometimes in an, uh, in a company, but you also have agencies. And these agencies, they um, they are kind of like an in between uh, between uh, suits and, and and hoodies. And you also have to make sure that you serve them well. They are they're especially extremely important if. Um, the bigger the agency, the more influence they will have on the choice of the of the suits um to state it like that so if you have a big agency that that has already done a number of integrations for example with kbc and they say to the suit okay the the some some company is interested in to integrate an, uh, a financial uh, service and they say well I i've done the the ones from uh, from bnp paribas and they are uh, they are crap you know really just go to the to the developer portal of kbc those are way better they have an enormous impact on that choice of that technical uh, provider um, so from that uh, perspective, they're uh, really, yeah, they're really. It's really important to make sure that you have them also, uh, also on board. Um, a number of other things that are coming out of there is, you know, uh, where, where is the threshold? For example, uh, for your technical developers, do we already have everything there on the portal that it is good enough? It's not. It's not perfect yet. We're still. We have. Uh, we've also deliberately made a choice to launch an MVP. Um, and to, uh, to, uh, to, to to already go out with something that was not perfect and uh, with all the, the shiny things and the tiaras and stuff on it. Um, that was a deliberate choice, uh, but still we have to make sure that what we offer is good enough and good enough to our standards is quite high. So it has to be, so there we learned also from our, from our tech developers that, that there is still a missing link between what we now have as a sandbox and the code that we offer and so on. So that's something that we will also go deeper, uh, deeper into with them uh, in order to make sure that we offer the right things. And that's what we have to learn from our customer yeah. in this case, tech developers. I think one last question. Um, oh, where did it go? <laughs> um, um, yes. Um, I think one of the hardest problems that I think, because basically what I think you've done is a first step towards an interface portal. Um, and, and even though that your focus is on, you know, the business audiences, uh, like the suits and the hoodies, I mm -hmm. think there is already the hints of, um, you know, if you if you're looking for automation, go to the developer portal or interface portal. Maybe I don't know, uh, but I think you've made the first step towards that. One of the hardest problems I think there will be is how do you how do you represent your internal like your API domains, like all mm -hmm. the uh, how do you give structure to this information and like and how do you help people find um, the interfaces that they need to find, um, like. Right now, you've you've made a conscious choice around business versus um, uh, developer audiences, but mm -hmm. maybe this is going to become more of a well. We're looking for payments. We're looking for insurances. We're looking for. Yeah. Have you thought about this already? Yes, um, it's and we look at it actually even differently than that. We look at it from an from an ecosystem perspective because yeah. um, we've already had also uh, if we now uh, we will. We're now cooperating well already with a number of partners. And typically uh, what we also see is that um, once they have, uh, once a partner has integrated a certain, a certain API or a certain service and so on, and others could be interesting for them as well, they want to broaden their scope. Yes. So from that perspective, uh, if you really go into an interface portal and you say, for example, that you also want to um, offer um, products and services from third parties on your developer portal, 
um, then it would be, I think, from a from a customer perspective, would it, it would be more logical that you um, group it around ecosystems. For example, everything that has to do with mobility, or mm -hmm. everything that has to do with with energy, for example, and that you uh, the, with the, with the open data coming there also in and for energy providers that they have to offload it quickly. You know, if they have an API, why not put them on our uh, developer portal? Because we also have a number of things around energy, like solar panels, for example. So we look at it more of it might be the same product, the same insurance, or the same financial product that we offer multiple times, but then translate it into what does this mean for that ecosystem? Mm -hmm. Very exciting. Very much looking <laughs> forward to seeing how it evolves. Uh, thank you very much for your talk and for, for uh, being present and for showing up and just explaining what you're doing. Um, it's uh, always a pleasure to talk with you. Thank you. For